Hi, the Divide Blend Mode in Photoshop is like ice cream. Let's imagine colors are like different flavors of ice cream and topping. Yeah. When you use the Divide Blend Mode in Photoshop, it's like mixing two flavors together to make a new one. For example, if you mix vanilla or white ice cream and chocolate or brown topping using the Divide Blend Mode, you get a different flavor. The result isn't necessarily just one color. It depends on how much of each flavor is in there and how they mix together. It's like saying, how many times does the chocolate fit into the vanilla? The answer changes the flavor. The divide blend mode in Photoshop takes two colors and creates a new one using a mathematical formula. The result can be a mix of the original colors in unexpected ways, just like mixing ice cream flavors can give you new delicious combinations. Now let's take this into Photoshop. Colors are made by combining different amounts of red, green, and blue. With the divide blend mode in Photoshop, the RGB values of each pixel in the layers are involved in the calculation. In the formula 255 divided by A over B, a and B are actually the pixel values of the layers being blended. Photoshop takes into account these RGB values when calculating the resulting color. Here, I'll choose a random blue color. And in the spirit of keeping with the ice cream theme, we'll call that blueberry ice cream. This color, like all colors, has its own unique RGB values. The red value is 56, green is 44, and blue is 212. So here's our blue color. I'll name that layer blue. Now we need our second color. I'll choose a reddish pink for a strawberry ice cream. And again, this color will have its own unique red, blue, and green values. I'll put my strawberry ice cream on top of the blueberry ice cream. And now I'll choose the divide blend mode. So you can see the resulting color in this case is a different shade of blue. Now, sometimes when you combine pink and blue, you might get purple or sometimes a different shade of pink. Or in this case, we got a different shade of blue. It all depends on how much of each color is in there and how they mix together and what those RGB values are in each of our two original colors. Okay, we have our new resulting color after using the divide blend mode. Now let's plug our numbers into the formula to see exactly how it works. We'll just use the red value numbers, but Photoshop does these calculations for all three values of each color, the reds, blues, and greens. But we'll just check the reds. Remember my red value for the blue color or the blueberry ice cream was 66. I know I originally said it was 56, but I ended up choosing a slightly different blue accidentally after that. So here's the red value of that color. The red value for my strawberry color was 212. 212 divided by 66 equals 3.12. 255 divided by 3.12 equals 79. So 79 should be the red value for our new resulting color. Let's check. With the color picker, I'll select the new resulting color, and you can see here, as expected, its red value is indeed 79. So that's the divide blend mode explained with ice cream. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.